Hey guys, this is Richard from Wild Tech. Right, this is an, this is the next video I am doing. This is okay. Wait, the white Gim KB28 three pack RGB fans from Gim from Amazon up against the 120 millimeter RGB fan pack from up here. This is me going head to head. We're gonna be doing thermal testing. I've got a couple of benchmarks with thermals. Be quite surprised what you actually see considering that these do 1300 RPM and these are 1650, but it's about 1600 RPM. They max out that. So, very, very, very interesting results I've had. So continue to watch. Right, so as for the benchmarks, I did, right, these are the benchmarks I did with Heaven Benchmark. I did Base Mark GPU with DX12 as well as Vulcan. I did uh, DX11 Fire Strike, I did DX12 Time Spire, and I did Port Royal. I did a Total War Britannia because that's got its own included benchmark as well as it hits the GPU on the CPU at the same time as well as user benchmark. Now, something that will ve very be interesting is the GIM fans. Now, for heaven benchmark, I did it on the high settings. It is 1300 RPM. Okay, so, the GIM fans. Right, so heaven benchmark max temperatures is 58 degrees on the CPU and 62 degrees on the GPU. Um, DX, 12 for base mark the highest on this for the cpu is 44 and gpu is 60 the vulcan was 44 c on the gpu on the cpu and 59 c on the C on the gpu so dx fire strike dx11 uh cpu was 66 now remember now these idle temps are around the 30 to 38 degree mark for both of them so that what you would have to mind, remind uh, remember GPU is 53 uh, times by DX 12 the temps were CPU 60 degrees GPU is also 60 degrees so port uh, port royal uh, GPU was 59 CPU was 56 total war Britannia benchmark that was already in the game right the high settings at 2560 by, six, uh, by 1440p resolution, uh, GPU is 59 and CPU is 62. And user benchmark, CPU is 70 degrees and GPU is 57 degrees. Now we go on to the now Kim. Now we go on the upper fan, right? So, heaven benchmark idle temps 37C. That was exactly the same for the GIM fans, but the max settings was 59 on the GPU, which was quite impressive because oh, it was 58C on the GIM for the CPU. For the upper, it was, 50, it was 59 on the GPU, and it was 60, 46 Celsius on the CPU. That is about a, that is at least for the CPU a 10, de, 10 degree drop, or a little bit, a little bit less. But the GPU was up to, it was about one to two C. It depends. Uh, these fans, the upper fans, are running at near enough 1600 RPM maxed out. I maxed out the GIM fans, I maxed out the upper fan. Right, so with the DX12, uh, the DX12 base mark tests, I d right, so the idle was 37 to 36, and the max was 58 for the GPU. The CPU was 41, 41 Celsius, so there's about a 2 degree di discrepancy between them. Right, that was DX12, now Vulcan. The Vulcan ones for the 
GPA was a 58 degrees and CPA was 40 so there's a 4 degree difference there now we go on to DX11 fire strike now for the upper fans it was 55C at max and for the gim fans it was um, 66C for the CPU so that's 9 degrees off which is that's amazing the GPU was 60 Celsius and fire strike for the gim it was 53 Sorry, make, sorry, it's 55 for the, C, the GPU and it was 60 for the CPU, sorry. So I had them both mixed up. Right, okay, so now time spy. Time spy was 58C for the upper fans and 60C for 58 and 60. The C was for the GPU and the CPU. They basically didn't change, but that was because of me going through the benchmarks. I didn't stop, I went straight through each one so port royal was 58 and 51 so gpu was 58 cpu was 51 there's about a five degree delta difference for that now britannia britannia right so max on here was 57 for the gpu and the cpu which was really good was 55 degrees that is well, what was that, 7 degrees difference? That's amazing, but, you know, there's caveats that come with that as well. Last one, user benchmark. Now, this one really surprised me. Because CPU on, this, on the game fans was 70. GP, uh, the CPU on this one was 66. GPU one was 55. And that one was 57. So, what, what does all this equivalent to anything right well as it for thermals a pair does win but one thing that i will make sure to remember to put in the video is i've done an audio a bit of a video on the acoustics of the fans they make a very loud wine now a noise now the game fans are silent can't even hear them oh they're so very, very my loud. recommendation so. who's a clear winner they, they both got cons and they both got positives but me personally it's the gim fans because they've got the rpm they've got the noise level which is very quiet as well as the rgb um is much better than the upper fans um that's about it the upper fans obviously do push a lot more air but the problem with that is the acoustics i mean it is loud very loud i wouldn't be able to cope that is why I swapped them out because the the high level I know it was like sixteen hundred RPM but still that was so audible it was unbelievable it would it drove me mad it was giving me a hum in my in my ears that's how bad the wine is um, obviously with the game fans you can either have it linked up to your CPU uh, to your motherboard through the three pin for the RGB or you can use it with a remote now with the upper fans you don't get that choice it's it's directly motherboard so that's another good feature but they're around the same price around the 20 odd 23 24 pound mark they're on offer at the moment the game fans but yeah this is a clear winner for game maybe not on temperatures but for the rest of it the acoustics even the look the white on these fans is stunning i'm actually going to check out my 140 game fans and put these back in my system these are going to be mine from now on so i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel the clear winner is obviously gim which is quite strange because i assumed up there would have a good advantage but up here it's the noise that's what that's what made it lose but yeah i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe this is richard from welsh tech goodbye for you right now